Hi guys, today I'm gonna uh, show you how to do a, a program uh, just in a C sharp. Okay, uh, just go up to File, New, Project, you know how to do it. Oh, we're gonna do it, yeah, C sharp, Net Framework 4, Most Forms Application, I'll just name it Test. And we're going to be adding, uh, let's see, I'm going to just, uh, two buttons, and uh, two check boxes. Button one, I don't know, just scan. By the way, this application didn't do anything. It's just to help uh, beginners just in how to learn how to get the feel of it, you know? Okay. Now, uh, at progress bar. and a timer. Okay, under button one, which is your scan, you're gonna do a timer one dot start and then right below that do timer one dot enabled equals true <coughs> and then under cancel button two <clears throat> do progress bar one dot value equals zero and then uh, go down to timer and then do a progress bar one dot increment and then plus one And now we're just gonna debug it. And right now, all it does is move across here. The value on the progress bar is uh, the maximum is set to just a hundred. <clears throat> and then you can see you can scan cancel it right here. Once it, it just keeps restarting, and once it gets to the end, it'll just stay there. We uh we gotta add it in some code to get that to where it does some other things. Okay, but anyways, on checkbox one, open that up and say uh no actually, sorry timer one, and uh, we're gonna do another if uh, if statement. If checkbox one dot checked, we are checked. Progress bar one dot increment plus one, and then uh, we're going to do another if if checkbox two dot checked. progress bar one dot increment plus ten now get all that okay now as you can see when I check one I scan it's one Let's try it. Uh, I still got to fix that part. We will do that here in a sec. Then when I do check 10, it goes a lot faster because it's 10. And I just keep doing that. And then, see, I do 1, and then it goes a little bit faster. Okay. Now, um, 
we're going to do a if on this is under timer by the way if progress bar one dot value and then two equal signs 100 progress bar one dot value and I don't think it yeah we'll just do value equals zero and then just uh, do this three times progress bar one dot value equals a hundred again right below that and then progress bar one dot maximum equals one hundred and then same thing and then progress bar one dot minimum equals zero and then uh, just right up here after progress one dot bar dot increment just do a uh, if just copy and paste that same code again a progress bar one dot value equals equals one hundred timer one dot enabled equals false now <clears throat> now I think uh I can't quite remember. I think uh, these three, I think they have to be in a specific order. But I, I can't remember. We'll try it out here and see. No, yep. We got it right. Okay, so now we're going to... Oh, yeah, when I... Uh, under button 2... We need to add this on a code. Timer one dot enabled equals false. So now whenever we do this right here, when we click cancel, you can just you can do it infinite times. Just keep going. You can press it as many times as you want, then once it gets to the end it it'll stop. The value zero. Okay. Now we're gonna add uh, a label. It's gonna show the percentage. Well, right now we're just gonna name. It, just gonna have zero percent. And then uh, under timer one again, if progress var dot value equals one, right here. Label one dot text equals one percent and now since it goes up to a hundred I don't want to have to copy and paste that one time so we're just gonna do it by tens And then you just copy and paste this this code right here, just right under it, just ten times or whatever. You can do it however many times you want, but I'm just gonna do it ten because it's a lot shorter right now. Now watch zero. Now when it follows it, uh, some people do like. Uh, oops, I messed up there. I did six hundred and one. Yeah, there were. I should be sixty. But uh, in this kind of program, if it doesn't do anything, and you just want to make it have a uh, update the text, if you wanna, if you wanna have the progress bar update anything. You know, use a, a progress bar dot one value under timer. You know, you can say uh, like button one dot enabled equals false or 
so and so. You know, but uh, you'll get into that. You'll get into that more later. And then uh, let's just you know just change the background. And then uh yeah we're pretty much finished here. Just uh I'm gonna add this one line of code. I'm gonna do that same thing, but uh I'm gonna do label one dot text. Once it gets to one hundred, I changed this to ninety nine, so once it gets to ninety nine it'll show one hundred. And then uh, once it gets to 100, it'll show zero again, so that it doesn't just stay 100. And then it goes back down to zero. All right, now uh, that's all for today. Uh, if uh, if you want any more videos on uh, just anything um uh comment on the video below or uh, send me a message or something subscribe